my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. You can follow me on Instagram, you can follow my blog, and you can follow me here on YouTube. I'd really appreciate it. Now today I'm going to be filming a video that I absolutely love watching on YouTube, and that is a monthly favorites video. I have items ranging from beauty to fashion, lifestyle, food. There's a lot of random things thrown in there, so I'm very excited about that as well. If you guys love favorites, I hope you're going to really love this video. So let's just jump right in. I think I'll start with beauty and then work my way slowly down the list. So welcome to my February favorites. So the first beauty related product is actually in the makeup category and these are these NARS foundations. I absolutely love these foundations and I'm so sad that they're quite expensive. These actually retail for about $60 Canadian. I picked them up at my local Sephora. They're called the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and I love them because they come with a handy pump applicator. Now of course since they are quite pricey, at least for me anyway, they're not going to be my everyday foundation but they're going to be my special occasion foundation and what I love about them is that a little bit really does go a long way and they offer you that full coverage look without giving you that full coverage feel so it doesn't feel like you've been caking that makeup on your face it just feels very natural which I absolutely love if you actually want to see how I wore these I wore this in my Valentine's Day get ready with me makeup tutorial I'll try to link that down below as well if you're looking for a high-end foundation this is it, you should give these a go. They're new at Sephora, so they are my, definitely one of my monthly favorites. I've been loving them this month. Next, I have a makeup favorite again. This is a lip product, and it is actually these Buxom Vava Plump. I think they're called just liquid lipsticks, I guess. They are truly a liquid lipstick. They are not a lip stain. These actually are very moisturizing. I'm wearing them both today on my lips. I mix these two colors, and they are my favorite colors. One is called Beg for Mauve and the other is called Honey Dew. The Honey Dew is sort of a really pretty orangey nude, and the Beg for Mauve is a very mauve pink color, and together they look absolutely beautiful. Now what I love about these is that even though they are not a lip stain, they have the staying power of a lip stain without being drying, so they are very hydrating. Of course, they are not kiss proof or anything like that, but they are just a really nice look if you're looking for sort of like that lipstick or gloss feel without being sticky at all. I found that I wasn't reaching for lip stains as much and I was actually reaching for these. The only complaint that I have with these is that they sort of smell like a little bit like Vicks Vapor Rub. I feel like that is because they are meant to be sort of a tingly plumping kind of feel on your lips, which I don't mind at all. I like that they tingle and things like that. The smell does go away as you wear them throughout the day. But again, I just love these lip products and they were my favorite lip product for this month. My next beauty favorite is in the form of a nail polish. I'm wearing it right now on my nails as well. And it is this Essence The Gel Nail Polish. And it is actually in the color My Hula Hoop. You can see the name very tiny over there. I've been looking everywhere for an affordable nail polish that is a beautiful pink color, but I don't want the warm pinks. I was looking for more of a cold tone pink color that is almost like a purpley pink, and I feel like this is it. The applicator brush is quite thick, so you can't be so precise in your movements, but it does do a great job at helping you paint your nails super quickly. It is such a thick and wonderful formula, and I absolutely love this color. The best part about this is that the price is $3.99. Nail polishes are getting out of control expensive. I mean, I'm just seeing them for $11.99, $12.99. That's way too much for a nail polish. Who can afford that? I love nail polish. I'm always painting my nails. I don't think I've ever gone a day without having my nails painted in years, and I really need my nail polish to be as affordable as it is is good so check out these essence the gel nail polishes it is such a great deal they have beautiful colors they sell them at shoppers drug mart if you're Canadian and I just really love this product so much especially for the upcoming spring season it is beautiful I only have one skincare item this month but it is something that I feel has helped my skin a lot I do have acne prone skin so I am prone to breakouts especially when it is that time of the month I mean there's nothing we can really do about that we will still get breakouts of course but I feel like this product has really helped in removing my makeup and keeping my skin hydrated and fresh looking and this of course is the Thayer's natural remedy alcohol-free unscented witch hazel toner with aloe vera 
that's quite a mouthful. It's supposed to be gentle, it cleanses, and it moisturizes. And on the back it says alcohol free, paraben free, all kinds of things that are free, even fragrance free, and it's a certified organic witch hazel. The directions say apply with a cotton pad to cleanse, soften, and refresh and moisturize the skin. Use anytime as a softening refresher. And I feel like this has done a great job at keeping my skin nice and clean this month. And I could really see the difference because I have been using this all throughout the month of February and I've absolutely been loving this of course it is really nice that it is natural there are no fragrances so this won't break you out if you have sensitive skin so this is just a great facial toner and I think this will really help if you have problem areas on your skin this should get rid of them I think I actually want to talk about food next because I have this ice cream out and it's probably going to melt but this is the Haagen-Dazs spirits ice cream and this is actually in the flavor rum ginger cookie now Haagen-Dazs has this new line of spirits ice cream and they have a lot of really good flavors by all means I've tried a lot of them but I have been loving this rum ginger cookie I love those soft even hard ginger cookies they're absolutely delicious and I feel like after Christmas is done, ginger just goes away. So I'm so happy to have found this. I'm gonna have a bite right now so that I can describe the flavor for you. Mmm. <laughs> if you love those spiced ginger cookies, it is so delicious. There's just a little hint of rum. And that is honestly one of my favorite ice creams. This is by no means anything healthy or anything like that. But it was such a good little treat that I discovered this month and I've been loving this ice cream. This is the second time that I purchased this and I just can't seem to get enough of this Haagen-Dazs ice cream. So if you've been seeing these Spirits Haagen-Dazs ice creams in store and you're not sure about them, take my word on it. They're very good. A lot of the flavors are great, but that ginger one is my absolute favorite. Okay, so I did a little bit of an unhealthy item. Let's remedy that by showing you something very healthy and these are these Daryl's All Natural Bars. These are actually protein bars, but they are all natural, so they have very natural ingredients. They're made with things like hemp seeds and peanut butter. They have golden flax seeds, quinoa flakes, really good stuff in here. They are 22 grams of protein. And now the reason why I love these so much is because they sell them refrigerated. It specifically says that you do not have to refrigerate them, but I actually do refrigerate them because I love eating them cold. So you can find them in your local Whole Foods, usually in the fridge section. Actually, most health food stores do carry these. They're made in Canada, so I'm not sure if you can find them in the States, but they're absolutely delicious. And I love these three flavors the most. So I love salted caramel peanut, I love chocolate caramel pecan, and I love vanilla pumpkin spice. This one could actually be renamed to cinnamon bun because it tastes exactly like a cinnamon bun to me, but it is so good. And I just really love them for breakfast. It is nice knowing that I start my day with something natural, you get your protein in, and you feel really good about it. They are about 230 calories per bar, so they are nothing too heavy. You can even have them as a little treat or a snack if you'd like as well. I just love them for breakfast with a coffee. So speaking of coffee, thank you so much to my mom for picking us up a Nespresso machine. I am a Keurig girl. We've been using Keurig for years now, but I've always secretly wanted an espresso machine, and she picked that up for us. She hooked us up with the Nespresso Latissima. So what that is, is it is a coffee machine that makes espresso, and it also makes cappuccinos, lattes, long and short espressos as well. I love having a cappuccino for breakfast. It is great because this machine actually has the milk frother built in. So you just fill it up with your milk or your cream or your almond milk, whatever you prefer, and it makes the cappuccino for you. You don't have to froth anything yourself. It is a one button click and you're that much closer to having a delicious breakfast. So I have been loving that Nespresso machine. I am completely transferred over to the Nespresso world. I only use my Keurig now to make tea, which is so unfortunate, but I mean, I still love my Keurig as well, but the Nespresso is just what I'm reaching for all the time. I love making cappuccinos. I love making espressos. I just love it. Now with that as my favorite, I also have to mention these coffees. The Nespresso coffees can be quite expensive. They are almost a dollar a pod, which is a little bit crazy to be honest because of how many coffees I would love to make a day so I'm really happy that I found these they are the must brand of Italian espresso and you can pick them up as you can see at HomeSense I spent $4.99 on them they also have them at Grande Cheese I believe if you live in Canada if you don't you're probably like what is this girl talking about they taste so good I've given people coffee like these and they always say oh what's that what is this espresso it's so good it's just this kind we usually pick up the Lungo which is an intensity of seven and the Napoli which is an intensity of eight there's also a cremosa one which makes really creamy espressos that are so good 
What I love about these is that 10 pods cost you $5, so it is basically half the price of Nespresso, which is so affordable and great if you are an avid coffee drinker like I am now. It's just a really nice touch. They also have a couple other brands that I'll show you as well. You can pick them up at Winners or HomeSense or Home Goods, whatever you want to call it. It is such a great product. So if you have an espresso machine and you are tired of spending so much money on those pods, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'll still be buying Nespresso pods every now and then, but I love these for just my everyday use. They're great and they taste amazing. Okay, we're almost out of the food realm. Remember how I told you that I love to make my tea now in my Keurig machine? Well, I found a tea that I absolutely love and I just want to quickly talk to you guys about this organic chamomile with lavender tea. Why I love this tea so much is because I love chamomilla, that's what we call it in Italian. This is just chamomile tea and I love lavender as well. I love anything florally. I love drinking florals, eating florals. I love that kind of taste. I have discovered this year really, but especially this month, how important it is to buy organic tea. If you're an avid tea drinker, and I mean I drink sometimes three to four cups a day, it is imperative that you buy organic tea from now on. Trust me on this, there are so many horrible pesticides in your tea. But that is a whole nother topic. I just really love this tea because other than the fact that it is organic, it has the cutest little quotes on the actual tea bag itself, which is such a nice touch. So pick this up, you can find this in your local grocery store or even health food store. So this is such a nice taste. It is of course a caffeine free herbal tea and it is so important that this is organic guys. I cannot stress to you enough. Okay, now the next item I guess we can say is sort of a lifestyle item. This is actually a mirror that my boyfriend picked up for me at Ikea. This mirror is great. The price was under $30 Canadian. This is just a portable vanity mirror with a light built in. It doesn't look so bright right now, <laughs> but it is great. It is double sided, so it has a three times magnification as well as just a regular mirror. It is perfect, it is portable, it is so thin and light, and I absolutely love that. That is so important for me because I'm always grabbing my mirror and having to unplug it and things like like that so this is great it is my new favorite and I've been loving it this month as well and for the price I mean you can't really beat that the next lifestyle item that I wanted to talk about is actually going to be succulents I'm absolutely obsessed with succulents I am in love with them my whole family is really now succulents like these are so cute this was such a pretty pale baby green color and I love this and of course I put this in summer's bowl so this was a really cute tribute that I can do to my little summer this was her favorite water bowl she drank from this for I would say even 10 years or so ever since I can remember she's had this beautiful bowl so I wanted to really put a little succulent in here and just honor her so this goes next to like the little shrine that I have of her in my room and this is so perfect now you'll see a lot of succulents in my room I think I have like as many as five and there's all succulents behind me and these beautiful house plants as well I love them and I love having life in my house it is such a good feeling and the really good thing about succulents is that they require zero effort you have to water them about once a week I love the fact that I honored little summer by putting them in her water bowl I also put them in her little food bowl that my boyfriend made for her I put them in that beautiful mug that my sister made but if you have something really special to put them in it is even better so succulents are definitely a monthly favorite as well I have two items to talk to you about and then we are done so the first item I'm going to just quickly mention is a higher-end item if you like higher-end things let me know I am miss beauty on a budget of course I love to shop in a really affordable way but every now and then it is nice to have a higher-end luxury piece especially with your accessories if you're interested in those kind of things just let me know but I thought that I would throw this in because this month I've been loving and finally really wearing this belt that my boyfriend got for me for my birthday my birthday is at the very end of November and it is this Louis belt it is the beautiful Danier pattern so it is that checkered blue and white pattern and this goes so good with the colors that I love to wear especially around this time of 
almost spring season so i'll be wearing this a lot for the spring and the summer but i feel like this month i really gave this belt a run for its money so i'm very happy about that and i just can't get enough of it this was such a good present so thank you to my boyfriend for picking that up for me for my birthday i'm finally wearing it and making good use out of it i just absolutely love it the quality is really nice and it just fits like a glove so i love that present next the final fashion related item i'm going to be talking about are these booties you have seen these in my my haul video this was actually in the first haul video that I ever did the forever 21 affordable fashion haul guys these were under $20 I of course picked them up on sale they are the best booties they're actually surprisingly comfortable considering that the heel is slightly higher and it's a thin heel so usually thin heels are not that comfortable but these are very comfortable I love the color and I love how transitional these are so you can wear them literally all year round I mean maybe not in the dead of summer but even then on a summer night you can get away with wearing these I actually wore this in my Valentine's Day date night outfits video so if you wanted to see these there I wore these in a look as well with a skirt and they looked fantastic I love this nice nude color I love how comfortable they are and I loved how affordable they were at under $20 Canadian can you really go wrong I don't think so so those booties were an absolute favorite of mine as well and I did love them in the month of February I really got some good use out of them and because they are that shiny material you just wipe them off and they look brand new. So this was my February favorites and I of course had a lot of products ranging from not only beauty but from lifestyle, fashion, food as well. If you guys like these versatile favorites videos, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up or leaving a comment down below. I love to hear your feedback as well. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Every subscriber means so much to me. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will of course see you in the next video. Bye guys and happy March. <laughs>